In this exercise, we are looking at 200 packets arriving all at once. First they fall down to a token bucket and from there they go to a leaky bucket. We know that in the token bucket there are 50 tokens when we start and they are arriving with 10 tokens per second are arriving. And for the leaky bucket, it works with a rate of 20 packets per second. So in short, what will happen is that first, um, when the 200 packets are arriving, 50 of them, that corresponds to the number of tokens, will fall down to the leaky bucket immediately, and then they will drip out from there with a constant rate. And in the token bucket, they will be leaving with 10 packets per second. So if we look at what is happening, um, what we need to keep track of, track of is first of all, we need to keep track of the time. We need to keep track of the number of tokens. Sorry for my bad handwriting. We need to keep track of the token bucket cube, of the leaky bucket cube, leaky bucket cube here, and then of the total number of packets which we have processed. Pack. So if I look at the situation before. Basically, before anything interesting and happy, anything is happening, is that there are 50 tokens. Uh, there is nothing in the token bucket queue, nothing in the leaky bucket queue, and no packets has been processed. Then, what is happening also at T0 is that the 200 packets are arriving all at once. So, they use the 50 tokens, so no tokens will be left. Then there will be 150 packets queuing in the token bucket, and there will be 50 those which had a token that are going down to the leaky bucket. And still at this point of time, I have no packets processed. So how to tell what is happening from here and how long time I should look at? Well, what I know is that I can draw like this, that I have now um, 10 packets per second going from the token bucket to the leaky bucket because every time a token arrives to the token bucket um, one packet is going from the token bucket to the leaky bucket and then from the leaky bucket they are dripping out with 20 per second so I can also see that um, seen from the leaky bucket perspective the netto is that there is leaving 10 packets per second because uh, 10 packets are arriving and 20 packets are leaving. So those 50 packets will be that are in the queue, they will be gone after um, 5 seconds. So the next milestone here is my 5 seconds. What happens with my tokens? Well, I still don't have any tokens after, after the 5 seconds. How about my token bucket? Well, I know that my tokens are arriving with 10 packets per second, so after 5 seconds I will have received 50 tokens. So there will be 100 packets left in the queue here. I also know that in the leaky bucket, since the packets are leaving with 20 packets per second, then after 5 seconds 100 packets could leave. There are 50 in the queue and 50 arriving from the token bucket. So that basically it. So I will have zero, po zero packets left in my leaky bucket queue and in total I will have processed 100 packets. So from here uh, what I need to focus on is 100 here. I know they are leaving with 10 packets per second with the dripping down to the leaky bucket but from the leaky bucket it has a capacity of 20 packets per second so they will drip out straight away so the only thing I need to focus on is from my token bucket to a leaky bucket. Uh, with 10 packets per second, it will take 10 seconds before it's full. So what I need to keep track of is 10-15, uh, so after 10 seconds. I still won't have any tokens, but I won't have any packets in my token bucket either, and not in my leaky bucket, because they are dripping out faster than they are arriving. And then in total, I have not processed my 200 packets. So, what was the question again? What is X? So, for the first X seconds, the flow will be leaving the leaky bucket with Y packets per second. And if I look in my table here, I can see that during the first 5 seconds, they will be leaving the leaky bucket with 20 packets per second. 
So I would have that my I need to find a place to write it. I would have that X is five. And it was for um with twenty packs per second, so my Y is equal to twenty. For the remaining set seconds, and I can see that I'm finishing after fifteen seconds. So the when I look at it from after five seconds and there is ten seconds left, so I will have that set is ten, and then it was uh, ten packets per second. So I will also have the W is ten, and then I know that in the original exercise, I had to add all these numbers together, and when I add it together, it will be forty-five. Thanks a lot for listening.